my hair looks super fluffy today. <laughs> um, welcome back guys. Uh, you join me in the wilderness again because I'm sending something off and I thought I just, again, as always, like to come along and take you with me. Oh, so I've had a delivery of materials so it means I can actually do the Basically, I had this idea from looking back through an old sketch that I want to try it out today. So there's that. And I've also got to henna my hair because Lush have finally <laughs> got henna back in store. And then I've got some gardening to do because it's actually quite mild temperature wise. There's something else. Oh, I must have slipped my mind. Anyway, there's something else really important that I need to do, but I completely forgot why. It's obviously it's not that important. So I'm just going to go drop this off and then I'll get back to you. I don't know why, but I always find ducks dead amusing. I just kind of just sit there and stare at you. <laughs> just come across this really long tree, and I don't know why I like it so much. Like, if I go up, it's so like weird. <laughs> it's got quite a thin trunk and then it just goes all the way up and has some leaves at the very top. That's really random but <laughs> I just thought I'd show you. Okay so now that has been delivered. I always forget how wrinkly my forehead goes when I don't have a hat on. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay so now that that has been done, as in the parcel's been sent off, I... Okay. <laughs> gonna get really interrupted by a duck. Um, what was I saying? Yes, I've got a few bits to do today. I'm actually quite excited for it. Um, especially my garden because it's been so cold recently. But the ground's been frozen to, to do anything and as always with my art I've gone into a bit of a weird space where I'm waiting for things to happen but all my projects I'm waiting for stuff to happen in terms of getting stuff delivered or waiting for the idea to come up. Um, so it's kind of been like a, not a dead spot. I've had stuff to do to keep the cogs turning. Um, if any of you have seen it, it's actually a painting that I've gone back to because I haven't touched it for like two years. So I've gone back to that. I've just had a, quite a good week actually. Go nuts. <laughs> I've had a, actually quite a good week um, in terms of my mental health and driving. Um, money wise, I'm actually okay this month. I am like £80 short, but I think. Normally what happens, I earn about 100 and something pound from eBay, which is why I sell all my artworks, vintage, nudge, nudge. That is why I've just gone and dropped something off. Um, yeah, I've got three days in and all earlys. Earlys, I mean like seven o'clock starts to like three, three or four, whatever it is. And then I'm going away to see two of my friends from university. I haven't seen them since, it must have been July. Um, unfortunately last time I was meant to go see them the day before um, something happened with one of our cats and it was just devastating we lost him um, so I was just too much of a, a state to basically go and they were totally acceptable because I mean if a family member dies you don't want to do anything you just don't want to well in an like I am okay I didn't want to live because it was that devastating um, I'm sure other people have felt this way when things like that happen but we've that's gone that's we can't do anything about it he had a lovely life and we've still got one little cat left Aloy so yeah but anyway haven't seen them for a very long time so this time I'm going down to Redditch to go see them for two days and then yeah we're just gonna have a nice little catch up have a takeaway get a couple of drinks just forget about life because you know work isn't the essential thing in my life it's just something I have to do and I know that in about 13 months time I will be searching for a house because I should have enough savings to move out of our current house which is it's unreal because I've been waiting like four years for this um, I'll have about 30 grand saved up and this time I'm going to get a house with my boyfriend and well I actually need to have a massive clear out of our house anyway because 
You know when you just have drawers and drawers and drawers of stuff that you just don't need? That's just accumulated over so like such a massive amount of time. I feel like I need to go through each individual room to just clear out all the stuff that we don't need because ideally you don't want to be taking stuff from that house to another house when you don't need it. So this is not just an under kitchen sink sort of issue. There's drawers in every single room and just bits that we just don't need. Like I have an accumulation of soap that's <laughs> in my bathroom that I know I'm gonna get I know I'm not gonna get through all of it. But if I bring it to, the fo to bring it forward, I know I'll eventually well use it all and use as much as I can because ideally I want to start from this point fizzling down all the bits that I don't need to either give them away to charity, give them to family and friends or upcycle them or something or give them away basically so that I can have a clear conscience. I don't have to pack so much stuff and yeah, just all that lovely little house bits. I am really excited though because I've never had my own house. I'm 27 years old. I've never had my own house. I've lived at university. I've done a lot of traveling, but I've never had anything of that experience. Hi guys, it's actually a few days later after the last clip you just saw. I didn't actually do a lot of what I wanted to do because basically when I got, as soon as I got home the shortest words um we had a delivery of everything that was meant to come the week after so we basically sorted out our hallway it's it's nothing exciting it was just um hallway doors so we decided to install them instead of doing all like the admin bits but in saying that I did want to just drop in and just tell you a bit more about the whole moving out situation I know it's about 13 months away which sounds a very long time but I did do a very quick plan of what I wanted to do and I thought because the whole point of a vlog is to get you involved in my life a bit more just to see what it's kind of like not just art related but also my life so I'm, my partner's like playing with the cat and I can hear him cat talking is that, is that even a phrase you know when he, you know when someone goes woo to like a little baby he's doing that to the cat <laughs> um but he's basically um I'm planning to do some more videos to do with this sorting out each and each every vi like every single room because I need to do a clear out because I mentioned this before you can accumulate so much rubbish <laughs> when you have a house of your own and to I need to get rid of it I need to sort through it give away stuff to charity recycle as much as I can and then if I can't do anything with it it will have to go in the bin but that is very unlikely. And normally when I do a clear out, only about 5% goes to landfill and the rest of it I either donate, um, I either give to H&M, which they give me a voucher for like, in terms of clothing, or I just give it away to friends and family if they can use it in some sort of way. But yeah, anyway, basically I will be doing this and I've got, because I've got 13 months, I have dedicated a whole page in my sketchbook in my sketchbook in my journal it's basically a very good way of me making myself admin friendly because I actually also need to plan out what days I need to do certain artworks and certain bits because at the moment it's whatever I can do on that day and I feel like I need to, be, to do a bit more structure after looking back through one of my sketchbooks I mentioned that I had some structure in my final like few weeks and it really worked for me everything just felt a bit more organized I felt it was more realistic so I will be doing that but that I'll save that for the next vlog but basically I just wanted to show you what I've got plans for these next 13 months in the terms of moving out <laughs> because I'm so excited to just get my own house and to be able to decorate it how I want and just be more happy I'll be more in debt but at the moment I feel like I'm just working for the sake of working. It's also the point as well, I'll know how much money I need to earn per month just to pay the bills and maybe a little bit extra for myself. But the idea of it is that I don't want to work for someone else unless I have to. So if I don't need to be full time with that employer, I won't be. I'll ask to drop my hours because there's no point of me working just to get extra money for, just to be a bit more miserable, basically, in the shortest terms. I think everyone's the same. I really hope no one from that company actually looks at this and goes, she probably shouldn't have said that, but it's fine. Anyway, 
anyway this is the list so for February I need to do a studio clear out of oh, that is massive so I know that it sounds it is massive it's basically February is just gonna be massive I don't think I'll be able to upload it this February because I actually do have a few videos planned for this month so it either be at the beginning of March or a week after somewhere around there and the reason for it is because I actually got studio down twice because I need to do the studio as in I need to take photographs of all my artwork and properly put them on eBay but I also need to make sure that I clear out all the artworks that I know I'm just keeping hold of for no absolute reason I do have a box up on my shelf of where I put artworks that I think are good enough to sell but aren't good enough to put on eBay so I send them off every year in January for an underbed sale of actually getting some of them back um, this week I don't know when I don't know how much I've sold I just don't know how much <laughs> and yeah so those ones will go up there and then I need to also clear out all my drawers I need to make sure that I'm selling as much artwork as possible and that's also why I wanted to just drop in and say a bit more about this because I will be doing a discount if any of you are looking to buy some sort of artwork on my channel um in my eb account which is in the description box but by the way um i am willing to give a 10 percent discount if you use the code found on youtube and that is basically you just submit an offer and you can add a little comment in the offer and as long as it matches i will give you the 10 percent and there you go, it's, it's as easy as that basically and that is because I want to try and clear out and make fresh of all my artworks because they are they are very dear to me but there comes to a point where it just becomes too much and I want someone else to appreciate it because artwork doesn't belong in a drawer or in a folder or just not in the outside world it deserves to be looked at and enjoyed by someone else that being said, um, if anyone can't buy my artwork for financial reasons that's absolutely fine you can share my channel you can share my ebay account but i also do i'm looking at seeing if i can do some sort of swap so if there's an artwork that's valued about 15 pounds and you've got something that i don't know let's just say you've got a window cleaner service or something i'm really <laughs> so random i don't know why but i'm willing to do a swap i'll gladly give you one if you want to come clean my house basically it's that sort of like a swap that I'm completely happy with because it's still getting rid of, still able to get your artwork out there, but instead of it going through the tax man, you're just changing services. And because it is just a swap, there's no money involved, you can get away with it as far as I'm aware. Oh my god, if it's if that's wrong, I'm, gonna, I'm totally doomed, aren't I? <laughs> but please stay tuned because I do have a lot, and then, as always, I'm still uploading four days a week. I'm doing one vlog and one ASMR video and the other two are just kind of whatever not just only what I feel like doing but also what is relevant to me at that time if you guys have any questions about anything please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like I said check out my links in my description box it really does help it's my social medias it's my ebay selling account and it's also my paypal donation page if you'd like to make a donation like a tip please do follow the link and donate it would really appreciate it in the meantime, I'll give you a quick spoiler. I'll be talking about this little painting in the background that has been in my background for quite a while. I just haven't, well, spoken about it or uploaded anything about it on my Instagram either. So, um, yeah, I, it's, it's, I think it's ready um, to be released to the world because I'm not quite out for such a long time. I wasn't sure about it, but I think it's, it, I think it's ready for its official press release <laughs> and video to complement it. So yeah, enough chatter. I hope you enjoyed the little scene a bit at the begin at the beginning. I know it wasn't exactly what I said what it was gonna be at the beginning of the vlog, but that's just how things go. So thank you for dropping in. I'll see you later. Bye.